Okay guys, how's it going? This is a quick tutorial video on how to stay as organized as possible to get the most sales and commissions. So what we want to do is um, here you're looking at the attachments that we sent you in the blueprint email. First you want to go ahead and click on the attachment just like that and then you want to click up here where it says open in Google Docs. As soon as you do that it'll automatically create a tab there for you and again this just helps you to stay so much more organized when the customers are calling you. You can go right to the scripts and right to the order forms. So we're going to do that with all the scripts Let's click on Direct TV bundled with Hughes, open in Google Docs. Let's go to the next one while that's loading up. We'll go here to Charter, Charter Script, open in Google Docs. And we'll go back here to Hughes as well. So we've got all four scripts here lined up along the top. So like I say, it just helps you to stay so much more organized when the customers are calling. The next thing you want is the four order forms, very important. Uh, let's pull that up here. Um, you'll see the order forms that you're gonna be filling out with the customers on the phones with you, which are right here. So Frontier and Dish order form, we'll click on it. We can put that right after the Frontier script. We'll go back, we'll click on the DirecTV and AT&T order form, we'll put that right after the script. And let's go back, click on the charter order form, put that after the charter script. And last but not least, we're going to click on the Hughes order form, put that right after the Hughes script. So let's go back here and see what we've done so far. So again, the customers are calling and you're organized, you've got your Frontier script, you're able to go right into it, thanks for calling regarding your TV and internet needs, how can I help you? And then you go right into the script and uh, Go ahead and give them the pitch. Um, here again, you have the Frontier Dish order form to fill out. Uh, you've got the DirecTV script up here with the DirecTV order form to fill out. We'll wait for that to still populate. Looks like it's still thinking there. There we go. And then we've got the Charter script with the Charter order form to fill out. And again, we can schedule customers with any one of these companies. Simply indicate that in the notes. Um, at the bottom here, you'll just type in customer wants Xfinity, Comcast, Triple Play, or customer wants CenturyLink or Mediacom or whatever provider or service they want. Just indicate that in the notes if it's any one of these. And then, of course, we've got the Hughes script followed by the Hughes order form. So you see it's nice and organized. you got everything along the top there. The last tab you want to have is going to be broadbandnow.com so you can type in the customer zip code and it'll tell you exactly which provider is available in their area. Uh, we'll wait for that to pop up. There we go. So like I say, that's how you stay organized. It, you can only do this from a Gmail email address. So just keep that in mind. You can't do this with Hotmail or Yahoo or anything like that. So you have to have your email open in your Gmail account and then again, again simply scroll down to the attachments and just simply click on them and open with Google Docs. That's how you do that. And again, that's what we just did along the top. So that's one thing I wanted to show you guys uh, as to how to stay super organized. The next thing, the, the last thing I wanna share with you is creating a Google Sheets spreadsheet, which has now replaced Excel. Not sure if you guys know that. Um, Google Sheets and Google Docs has replaced Word and Excel because number one, it's free, and number two, it's live on the internet within your Gmail account. So again, everything can only be done from Gmail. You can't do this. You can't create a Google Sheets to keep track of all of your deals from a Hotmail or Yahoo email address. It can only be done from your Gmail. So just to show you guys how to create that Google Sheets spreadsheet to keep track of everything and stay nice and organized, you simply want to go up here. You see in the upper right-hand corner where it says Google Apps, those nine little circles. We're going to click on the nine circles. Then we're going to click here right where it says Drive. Okay, so we're going to go into the Gmail Drive. All right, so once that pops up, you're going to come over here where it says plus new. Okay, so as soon as we click plus new, you'll notice here it says Google Docs, Google Sheets. So again, Google Docs has replaced Word because it's live on the internet. Google Sheets has replaced Excel. So we would click Google Sheets just like so, and there you go. So you would title this here. You can change the, uh, the name of it up here where it says uh, Untitled Spreadsheet. 
Uh, you could change it to anything you want. You can master uh, master deal sheet, if you want to call it, or whatever it is that you want to call it. And this is where you'll keep track of everything. So again, you'll you'll type in the customer name. Um, you'll type in, you can move that around like that. Uh, this could be, oh here, let me do it this way. So we put name of the customer, and then here you can put address. You know, you can just uh, stay, stay organized and just log everything in here to your Google Sheets phone. And here you can put uh, some notes like, you know, called today 428.19, said to call back on Tuesday next week, and then put the date. Uh, let's see, what's uh, Tuesday's date is the uh, 7th. So you would put 5-7. So I'm just giving you an example just to uh, keep track of your customers, the name, address, phone number. Of course, we're not allowed to keep track of any sensitive personal information, such as their date of birth, social, or credit card info. But you can keep track of everything else, name, address, phone number, um, you know, uh, whatever, whatever you want to type in here in your notes. And that's your master deal sheet. So that's how you'll keep track of all of your deals. We're also going to send you a funding report every Friday at 4 o'clock p.m. Eastern time, just letting you know the status on all of your deals and uh, what you're getting paid. So that'll be all on your funding report. All right, so those are the two things I wanted to share with you guys. Uh, again, how to open the scripts in Google Docs. So it creates a tab up top for you, like we've, like we've just showed you up here, and also how to create uh, Google Sheets within your Gmail account to keep track of everything. All right, so uh, that's all I have for you today. If you need anything at all, please give us a call, and let's make a ton of deals this week, and let's all have an extremely profitable year.